गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड हेल्दी एंड एंजॉइंग योर ऑनलाइन टीचिंग लर्निंग आई एम हेयर विद चैप्टर मैपिंग योर वे टारगेटेड लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर द फर्स्ट टॉपिक आर स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू रीड द मैप एंड को रिलेट विद एक्चुअल लोकेशन एंड पोजिशन ऑफ प्लेसेज रोड्स एक्सेट्रा नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज वॉट इज अ मैप एंड वाई डू वी नीड इट अ मैप is a visual representation of an entire area or a part of an area maps attempt to represent various things like political boundaries physical features roads population climate and natural resources map represent the real world on a much smaller scale they help you to travel from one location to another suppose you have to go to school from your home what do you do you follow your position of right and left most of you eat and write using your right hand you also look for directions for to name our east west north and south have you heard the name of assam famous for its mekhla chadar sarees assam lies in eastern part of india our respected prime minister shri narendra modi ji hails from gujarat which is in the western part beautiful jammu and kashmir lies up in the north and kerala a land of beautiful beaches lies down south <coughs> our first question revolve around republic day celebration you all know republic day is celebrated every year on 26th january at rajpath in new delhi Ashi along with her friends went to see Republic Day parade. You have also seen Republic Day parade on television or few of you have been to Rajpath to see the parade. You see march past by our army, navy and air force showing its achievement to the nation. Colorful tableaus of various state showing their rich culture and heritage is also demonstrated there. you also see beautiful dances even kendriya vidyalaya too present dance program by its students we will discuss this concept more with the help of few questions so you are watching image of rajpath along with its map just observe these two pictures all the important monuments roads and natural resources are mentioned in the map try to find the road on the actual image by looking its location on the map are you able to trace it let us try to understand the concept more with the help of few questions so our first question is after matching the map one with the photo find out where the position of india gate is and draw it on the map so look here is india gate in the actual image and if you look in map number 1 you will find india gate somewhat here so india gate is in the central hexagon of map number 1 let's move to the second question name the roads that you will cross on your way from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate let's look at the map here is your rashtrapati bhavan and here is your india gate as we have discussed in the questions so from rashtrapati bhavan to india gate you will cross rafi mark janpad and mansing road so these three roads will take you to india gate from rashtrapati bhavan and they are rafi mark janpad and mansing road our third question is can you see the national stadium in map number 1 let's look here you can see national stadium in map number 1 so you can see national stadium in map number 1 but you cannot trace it in your actual image these are the answers of the questions we have already discussed so let's move to our next concept 
I think you all have loved the concept of angles. You have studied in chapter number 2, Shapes and Angles. So, what is an angle? An angle is the space between two lines or surface that meet at one point called center. It is measured in degrees. So, your first is an acute angle whose measure is less than 90 degree. Second is a right angle whose measure is exactly 90 degree which means right angle is the meeting point between two perpendicular straight lines. Third is an obtuse angle whose measure is more than 90 degree. This is a straight angle whose measure is 180 degree. And last is a reflex angle whose measure is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. I am revising it as the concept will help us in solving our next questions. So, let's move to our next map. In the next map, you can see the area around India Gate. Look at this structure. If you look more closely at one part of the map, it looked like a six-sided shape which you also called a hexagon and you all have read about hexagon in your chapter 2 shapes and angle. Due to this shape, this place is called a central hexagon. Let us start with our questions. If you are walking on Rajpath, then after India Gate, on which side would Children Park be? Let's see the map. Here is your India Gate. And you can trace Children Park here. So, Children Park is right to India Gate. So, your answer will be Children Park is to the right side of India Gate. Let's move to our next question. Our next question is, which of these roads make the biggest angle between them? Mansing Road and Shah Jahan Road, Ashoka Road and Mansing Road and Janpat and Rajpat. Let's see. Here in the map, this is Mansing Road and Shah Jahan Road. They are making a, an acute angle. Now look at Rajpat and Chanpat. They are making a right angle of 90 degree. And if you see Ashoka Road and Mansing Road, it is making an obtuse angle between them. So it is clear now that Ashoka Road and Mansing Road are making the biggest angle between them. Our third question is, which of the ever above pair of roads cut at right angle? Let's see again, as discussed in question number 2, this is Rajpat and this is Janpat and they are meeting at 90 degree. So, Janpat and Rajpat are making a right angle between them. These are the answers of the questions we have already discussed. Hope you all have understood the concept well. Take care and stay healthy. Goodbye and thank you.